Hi everybody, here we are again, and a Pilgrim's Hope from Festival, which we're actually going to review. It is very nice. And I'll just show you that's come off the box. So, premium ale, Pilgrim's Hope. Made by Festival. Now let's get my notes out. So I started it off on the 20th of the 11th. It's now the 11th of the 12th. Same year, obviously. The starting gravity was. 1054 at 20 degrees. Now, this kit comes with some brewing sugar in it, which I decided to add just to ensure that it's as per the kit. Hence the 54. So it came with, I think it was 500 grams. So two cans of malt, 500 cans of 500 grams of brewing sugar and it finished at 1012 on um, barreled it on 27th of the 11th so that's uh, about is that about two weeks ago something like that around about two and a half came out at 5.7 percent so it's a bit whoo, loopy juice I don't know where my torch is. No idea. Where's the phone? Phone's here. So the phone is not responding. It's useful. Very thank you very much, phone. Oh, for God's sake. Right. Ah, finally. So quite dark. Clear. Obviously not heavily carved because it's off the barrel. It's a deep. Can't turn the phone off now. Deep ruby colour. I've had a couple. Right. So, let's get to it. On the nose, there's multi sherry, sherry notes. Yeah. Dive in for a taste. There's a fruity up front and sweet maltiness. It is a very nice beer. A little bit on the strong side. Need to go easy on it a bit really. 5.7%. Not overly bitter, which there is a bitterness there, but it's suppressed by the sweetness of it. It is an ale, so you don't expect it to be Overly bitter, and there is a uh, what's the other flavour that's coming through? It's not quite treacle, I don't think. It 
could be slightly aniseed. Only very slightly. It's either it's between sort of treacle and aniseed, if you know what I mean. So I don't know where that's come from. But it's very nice. It's fairly well balanced as a beer. You can just drink it. Yeah, a, a subtle, very subtle aniseed towards the back end. So not only did it come with 500 grams of sugar, uh, brewing sugar to go in, but it also came with a dry hop. Now I only dry hopped it, let's have a look. I didn't really leave, leave it long enough, but circumstances. Uh, so where did I go? Right, so I dry hopped it on 24th of the 11th, so it only had three days in the dry hop. But, I used the bag of hops for the next brew, which was a Woodford's Wherry. So we'll see how that tastes. That was dry hopped straight from the start. I thought, do I should have cleaned this? Why bother cleaning the bag out? It's only been in there for three days. Let's bung it in the next beer. I know you don't dry hop from the start of fermentation that's only because it dry it drives off some of the volatile oils it's an experiment so we'll see has that been barreled oh, of course it's been barreled uh, that was barreled on the 7th so it's probably uh, so it's only just been barreled four days that's going to be at least two weeks before that's sampled. When I get these videos out, who can tell? Because life is hectic at the moment. Right, so, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.